Welcome back to today's edition of Ladies Hub. I am Miss Sally Spectra, your host for today's section. We are fortunate to have here with us, sitting in the presence for presence, our face of Pasak Uhas and our face of Pasak National. Miss Mabel Sewado. You're welcome, Miss Mabel. Um, can you kindly tell us a little about Miss Mabel Sewado? Okay. So, as you said, my name is Kimilio. Okay, actually, I have a long name, which is Princess Afimilolonia Tawodo. Yeah. Um, I'm a girl, a school girl, the University of Health and Allied Sciences. I PA level 400 students. I'm actually in my final year. I love to sing. I love to cook so much. Yeah. <laughs> I do like in cooking. Yeah. So this kind of does me. I just love to be happy. I love those around me to be happy. I mean, everyone needs um, to be happy. Yeah. That's an interesting personality, though. So we want you to tell us where you got the interest from to participate in the phase of um, Pasad, U.S. and National. Okay. So actually, Face of Pasag or pageantry wasn't really my thing. Yeah, I, from the beginning, I didn't have the interest in any pageantry. Although I watched um, GMV, Ghana's Most Beautiful, and we all delight in watching it, but it wasn't really um, my interest. But then when I got here in New House, I think level 100 or 200, um, the Wukong then, Miss Benedicta Ba, she took me into this. I actually wanted to give it a try. So with the interviews, I was with other ladies. We got there and I mean, after the interview, I was like, no, 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 I can't do this. So I just, I back out. I, yeah. But if... If it's for you, I mean, it's for you. If the thing is in you, if you have power, my mom used to tell me that if there's power in you, you yourself, you might not know, but the people around you would the get to know yeah. and tell you. Yeah. So my siblings and my cousins, they always tell me that um, you need to be a model, you need to be in this pageantry. You look like one. I was like, no. So to cut everything short, one day I was walking by the streets of Chicago and two gentlemen approached me and they told me that you have to go for this. You have to go for face of Pasak, you has, you can do it. I was like, okay, so I'll give it a try. I'll think about it. And I did, I thought of it. I was like, okay, it's worth it. Let me just try. Let me just challenge myself. If people are seeing the power in me, why don't I see that in myself too? So I gave it a try and I was in. Oh, we thank God. Yeah. That's so beautiful. <laughs> so with Miss Mabel, she was fortunate to win both um, Phase of Pasag has and Phase of Pasag National. You want to know what made you different from the contestants? Well, actually, I don't know. We, we all have great potentials. The ladies from Phase of Pasag has the local one. The ladies I was in the contest with, they were all good. They were all beautiful. They were all knowledgeable. They had the skills and the support. Everyone could have won. Everyone could have won. But I was just fortunate mm -hmm. to, to be in the local one. It was really tough. It was very, very tough. But then at the end of it all, I thank God I came out victorious. Yeah. And with the national one too. Oh my God. It was really, really competitive. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. Yes, it was. <laughs> So the other ladies too, they were equally, equally, um, they equally stood a chance to win this position because it was very, very challenging. I remember um, the last, the last part where they have to call out the winner. My heart was just jumping because my my first runner up 
Miss Oh Queen Queen Rachel. Hello Queen Rachel. Everywhere you are, wherever you are, I love you so much. Yeah, she she was a great a great competitor. She she kept me burning. I was like, I need to do more. If I don't do more, this this woman is going to win. Yeah, so everyone stood the chance of winning, but I was just grace. Yeah, so I thank God for it. So you mean to say it's by grace and then by extra effort that we do it? Effort. Because from the beginning, we were given tasks to do online and other things. I put in my all. I was because I knew it started from there. And so I need to do everything possible to get this. So I really worked hard. And it wasn't just by me, my strength alone. I would say thank you to my manager, Wanda Ashiavo. I love you so much wherever you are. This man has been a great asset in this journey of mine. He has been pushing me. Maybe oh, you can do it, you can do it. It was for a point I really wanted to opt out. But he said to me that you can do it. And yes, I was able to Indeed, do it. Indeed, you did yeah. it. So what made the UHAS um, face of PASAG and then the national face of PASAG so different? Hmm. Okay, with the, with the difference, I'll say over here with the face of Pasag you has, I'll say um, it's it's among us or maybe I may know the people around or they are just familiar. We are all in the same environment, so that familiarity. But with the national one, this is a whole set of different people all together. We were nine ladies in all. So getting to have the experience from other people and oh, it's just a whole lot. Yeah, it was a whole lot. Very great. You definitely did it. So I want you to share your favorite memory from both you has and national. Memories. Okay, so from you has. Ah, your favorite, your favorite, favorite memory. Okay. <laughs> All right. So everything was memorable. Everything is so memorable. But then the most of them, when we, I just, you see, I'm someone who loves to be happy. So when it got to the point where doing our cultural display or our talent show, I did a cultural display. That part was so good to me. Yeah. So it was very good because I. The zoo was there. I explored. I enjoyed myself and my my audience to enjoy it. Me so to me, it's it's a memorable time. Mm -hmm. And not to forget during the time of the um, project uh, presentation over there, it was very hectic. It was my first time with a U has local one, so I was really tense. I was very tense, but at the end of it all, it went well, and I want to say thank you to God again. Yeah, it was really better. That's beautiful. Have you started any of your projects yet? Okay, so with the project I haven't started yet. I have plans. We are still going by them. I mean, at school academic, uh, activities wouldn't let us just jump into it now. So we are taking everything slowly and hopefully we get to hear from her soon. We hope to hear from her soon. Yeah. Okay. So we also want to know if your family members and friends were supportive. Oh. It's, it was so great from the start. I didn't want to tell my dad. I didn't want to tell any family member because I wasn't that interested. Mm -hmm. But I needed to tell them anyways because they're my family. I can't do anything without letting them know. So I told my dad, this is what I am going to do. This is what I want to do. So he was like, okay, you can do it. From the very start, I thought he was going to come against it because my dad is someone pageantry fine you can do it but with the way some of them you can you get to expose yourself some is if you watch the Miss Universe they wear bikinis and all of that so he was really against that part so he was always telling me you need to take your dressing seriously you need to look good you shouldn't expose yourself that's the only part out 
I would advise you on, but you can go for it. We are in support. They supported me. My dad supported me. My family members, they supported me. Christ Apostolic Church International, Western Region, wow. IRA. Thank you very much. You really did well. You supported me and I'm most grateful. And to my friends on campus, you did well. They, they supported me. Yeah, people didn't come in with the financial support, but with their words of encouragement, I was really boosted and went well. And to some lectures of you has, I didn't want to mention names, but School of Medicine lectures, I want to say a very big thank you to all of you. They supported me. Okay. They supported me and I'm thankful. Thank you all. Thank you all for your support. So, other than you, did you expect any contestant to be the first? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Because as I said from the beginning, it was very competitive. All the ladies were doing so good. Their output was just so nice. It was just good. And I'll mention again Queen Rachel, my first runner up. She was really, really a competitive. She could have won. Any other lady could have won because we all did well. They all did well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <we> just <laughs> But you brought the comeback to you has. Oh yes. I mean it's the first time you yeah. has hosted um, a national program and it was the first time too so they did a maiden edition and you has so they always, we always go out to other campuses to have this program, the Face of Facet National. But it was the first time in my year you has held a maiden edition, and I'm so happy to to have been the winner <laughs> and the national one too. Yeah. Oh, kudos to you, Harf. Okay, so what is the biggest change you would like to see in the next generation of young women? Thank you. So, what I want to say to young women, we have the potentials. We can do anything that we want to do. At first, I was looking down on myself. If you look at the height of others, this person is tall, this person is this, is that. I can do it, but trust me, if you are determined, Everything is from the mind. So if you should set your mind on doing something, definitely you can do it. So young men out there, there is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing that is above you. Just go for it. Work towards it. Be focused and be determined and you can get it. Next generation. I mean, if you're a woman, you should be proud because you have the power to bring change to the world. So please, young women, Let's take out the opportunity. Every slightest opportunity that comes to us, just grab it and make the best of it. My ladies, we are privileged to have met Miss Mabel. I think we've learned a lot from her speech. So we also want to know if you got your promised prizes, as they said, from both you has and then the national one. Yeah, thank you. I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm happy, okay? I'm, I'm very happy because I get to hear that other pageantries, if you attend, they get to promise you a whole lot of things. You push in your money, your energy, your time and everything. But at the end, you don't get to receive your promised items. Yeah. But with Face of Passat, you have Face of Passat National. I'm so thankful to all of you, the executive, but everyone, they did well. Everything they promised from Peace of Passat you has, they delivered everything. They did. Nothing was left. Yeah, they did well. So thank you, Peace of Passat National and Peace of Passat. Thank, thank you. Thank Any you. words for our audience? Okay. So my last words, I would say I love you. I love you all from my heart for being a biggest fan for being supporters. I want to say thank you to you all. Without you people, I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't be having the crown or face of Passat National. It was you, myself, and God. Thank you all so much. And we are looking forward to 
getting to a higher grade, getting to a higher point. So let's keep working together and bring the best to our nation. We start small, little by little, and we get out there. Thank you so much. Thank you all for your time. This brings us to the end of today's edition. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Tell, tell a friend to tell another friend that we have posted and they need to watch this, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.